Hello everyone, and welcome back to Map Maniac. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most unique countries in the world, the Vatican City. The Vatican City is the smallest independent state in the world, both in terms of area and population. It is also the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, and as such, it has a rich history and cultural heritage. In this video, we'll be exploring the geography of the Vatican City and how it has shaped its development over the years. The Vatican City is located in the heart of Rome, Italy. It is surrounded by walls, and its boundaries are marked by a yellow line on the ground. The Vatican City is only 0.44 square kilometers in size, which makes it the smallest country in the world. Despite its small size, the Vatican City is home to some of the most famous landmarks in the world, including St. Peter's Basilica and the Sistine Chapel. The geography of the Vatican City is quite unique. It is located on a hill, known as Vatican Hill, which was originally a cemetery in ancient Rome. The hill is situated on the west bank of the Tiber River, which runs through the center of Rome. The Tiber River has played an important role in the development of Rome, and it continues to do so today. The river is used for transportation, and many of Rome's most famous landmarks are located along its banks. The climate of the Vatican City is typical of the Mediterranean region, with hot, dry summers and mild winters. The average temperature in the summer is around 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit, while in the winter, it is around 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The Vatican City is also prone to occasional flooding, especially during the winter months when the Tiber River can overflow its banks. In conclusion, the geography of the Vatican City is unique and fascinating. Despite its small size, the Vatican City has played an important role in the history of Europe and the world. Its location in the heart of Rome, along the banks of the Tiber River, has helped to shape its development over the years. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the geography of the Vatican City. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.